Topography, or should I just say topo solid, and site are key components for showcasing your models. You have the option to create them from scratch or import a file to assist in the process. By the end of this video, you will have a strong grasp of both methods. So let's explore how they can work for you. In Revit 2024, if you go to Massing and Site section, you can see this topo solid in here. This part was different in previous versions. The updates are good, I like that it is more organized now, but the options that we had in the previous versions was very helpful too. So we are going to switch between these two versions so I can explain everything about the massing and side section. Now if you click on the top of solid, you can see two options, create from scratch and create from import. Let's go with this option first. In here, again, we have two different options, create from CAD file or create from CSV. You can use this one if you have a file with all of those information and data. But since I have a CAD file for one of my previous projects, I'm going to use this one. This is the file that we are going to use for this project. As you can see, there are lots of points which will give us a lot of beautiful contour lines. Let's just go to insert tab and import the CAD file to here. Okay, we need to go back to Topo Solid and create from import. Before actually creating it, let's go to properties section and check all of these types. I like that we have different types in here. We have grassland, path, different types of path, water, and generic. This part is more like the floor section and it is more organized now so we can change anything we want, we can add layers, we can change the material, the thickness, and so on. Now click on create from CAD and in this part you need to select the file and then you need to select the points that you want to create the layers you want to create the topography based on those i'm going to select all of them and then here we have the site let's go to 3d view and see how it looks this belongs to one of my projects from two years ago and i'm pretty sure it shouldn't look like this so if we switch to 2021 i have the file in here let's go to massing and site topo surface and then create from import now i'm going to select import instance and then i just need to click on this part again select all of the points and hit finish this is the main side and if we go to 3d view you can see it like this let's go to one of these views so you can see the slope if it had a better shape maybe something more like a rectangle you could have better shape in a selection box but if it doesn't you can still edit it so select your side and go to edit surface in here you can add place a point or reduce a point or even if you don't want to for example this point you can easily move it around if you want to change the shape of the ground you cannot add any point outside this circle so you need to add one inside it for example you need to check the elevation of this point it's on six meter and then you can add another point around here or maybe change the elevation of these parts and then move this one around because at the end you don't want to change the topography that much but if you need to this is a hack that you can use another option that we had in this version was this building pad which was really really helpful so if we go to site and in here we can create a building pad so you just need to sketch it in here i'm going to just create a very simple shape like this and hit finish now if we go to 3d view you can see something like this this is just the pad for the base of the foundation and you can go to edit type and in here you can change the material you can change the thickness you can add layers if you need to and if you look at it from this section let me just create a section for this part it looks like this you can add as much detail as you want this part could be the base of the foundation you can use it for bof level and on top of it you can add the foundation the structure and the rest of the building this was a really cool and helpful option when you want to start a project so 
Going back to the Revit 2024, I'm going to delete all of these and before trying the other way, make sure to like and subscribe if this was helpful for you until now. Also, if you are interested on the families that we had created on this channel, there's a link in the description where you can download them. Previously, we could add points and change their elevation easily and create the form that we want for our site. But in this version, you had to create the sketch. Even though we have lots of tools in here that we can use to create, draw a site, you can again use a reference, create it on AutoCAD or create it with some lines in here and then select it with this pick line option. I'm going to create a very simple shape in this part and also for its slope, I'm going to create an arrow like this. If you select it, you can change the level of the tail and also level at the head and also you can add offsets for them. I'm going to set the tail on 5 and the head on let's go with 3 and OK. If you go to 3D view, you can see a side like this and if you select it, there is a damage option that you can change it. This is because we add an arrow to the sketch. So if we go back in edit sketch and select this one and delete it, we can have a bit more options in here. So in this part, you need to click on this modify sub element, which will let you to add points, add split lines inside this part. I'm going to add some points to this part which are not working but if I add some of them in here you can see them you can select them and change the elevation from here I'm going to put this one on one and this one on maybe five meter this one should be on minus one exactly like this you can change the topo solid you can change the site and add or delete as much point as you like and create the shape that you want for your site the last tool that we have in here is this subdivide which was sub region in the previous version with this you can divide some parts on the side to for example add some path to add a lake for example or things like this and you can change the material of that part i'm going to just create a shape in here just to show you how it works hit finish and then if you go to 3d view you can see something like this with different material if you select it you can change the elevation you can change the height i'm going to put it on 50 centimeter like this if you don't want to see these lines on this part, maybe if this is a path, if you check this box, you can hide all of these contour lines in here. And also if you want to change the material, you can change it from here. Also, if you go to the site view in here, you can use this label contours. This will just show the level of contours. You can just do it on the side exactly where you want when you want to see the number the level the elevation of these lines and it will show all of them like this you can select the line and move it around and put it exactly where you want also if you go to edit type you can change the color the text font the size of the font and also the units that you want to see on these parts now if you find this video helpful, you will probably enjoy this one too.